Hi there and welcome back to Lagithun. And we want to visit the Grafo of Lagithun as in our quest for an alliance. And this was a great journey already. We have good spares that we could buy. The Grafo. The guards announce you as the leader of Dubenburg and you are shown inside. Grafo is a shriveled man on a massive, exquisitely carved throne. He peers at you with sharp black eyes. As he listens to your stories of Whitler, he appears unsurprised. The Franks have been pressing against their borders for years. He wants to know why he should concern himself now. Now, Lagethum is that fat trade city. So they are stealing our trade and wealth. Yeah, it won't stay that way if the Franks take over. Is it duty to the gods? He should be reminded of it. No, that... That is where we'll get him, I'm sure. He taps his teeth with his thumbnail, that is true, and something that's worried me for some time. Considers for a moment, finally it proposes a test. If you can secure a trade deal for him, the Danish settlement of Ulfostead will help you resist the Franks' influence. For Mr. Grafo of Lagithun, that you will secure a trade negotiation with the Danish settlement of Ulfostad. You must send a messenger north to secure the route and pledge your good intentions. We squeeze some palms to get what we need. Hmm. Send food and trade goods north. No harm in sweetening the deal. After a few days, the messenger returns with Danish goods and silver. The Graf of Uferstedt will be honored to trade with Lagithun and Ferna and looks forward to your alliance. Nice. And 12 horn crews. <laughs> We're good here. We're good. Nice. And it seems like we have to stay overnight. We may as well rest. going on now. You return to the Grafo and report your success. He's clearly surprised. He expected you whelps to turn tail and run back to Ferna. He will fulfill his end of the bargain. He tells you the Franks have begun building in Marsna. The Grafo can spare silver or warriors to help you to stop them from building outposts and Christian shrines. Silver buys warriors and mead. Do we want to leave the good people of Lagithun unprotected? Uh, now we'll be we'll be noble warriors. Now we need want to we want more allies. So Lagithun wants should be protected as well. We need neither. Keep them here to protect Lagithun. Rafo is surprised and commends your generosity. He will spread word of your bravery and compassion to his trading partners and allied Grafos. Frisians are a sleeping bear, he says, and these Christ followers were stupid to rouse it. But a new destination. And, uh, destination would that be? We'll have to find out, right? Let's look at the trader first. Food at five, even. <laughs> Oh, we need some goods. We need to... We need to hunt now. And we need to sell the hornbooms, I think. They're at a good price with seven. Yeah, we won't sell food here. Uh, we won't buy food here. That's just... A little costly, so we'll go hunting. At least once. There we go. Let's stay overnight. Oh, a herd of our ox. We split up in two groups to trap a big bull in a pit. Caught a big bull and no one got hurt, and we get tons of food and pelts. Let's look at the trader. Ah, oh, we can sell some of that. Like this, that should be that should be okay. 
And we can rest, alright. Or we can look at the blacksmith. Nothing so tempting. We rest for a night. And set sail again. Sudden heavy rain starts to fill the ship. You don't have much time to react. The ship slows down and the rudder has little impact. First waves splash over the sides. Ran is waiting for us. A goat has more wit than most of you, Bale. I die here and I'll return as a sea droger. Uh, we need to bail out water. Bails the water out as fast as they can. You make it to the beach. Whoa. Got a campfire here. We can rest. Yeah, we should rest there. We've got a lot of food with us. And we can still hunt there, even. If need be. Look at our storage. We could hunt. How much would that give us as a rest? It would give us good rest. Let's stay overnight. And we should hunt a bit. You never know. Let's confirm. Good partridge hunting country. Focused on the edge of the hedge. And we get an extra bird. Let's set sail now. Next station. There is Maza. Let's find out what's waiting for us here. The front line again. The Franks, right? Well then, you spot the Frank-built walls and outposts as you sail toward the shore. You and your warriors must prepare for a long and bloody battle. Well then, let's start the battle. Children and parents run through the streets, screaming, terrified of you, the raiders. The Frankish builders who worked on the Frank walls and church take up their tools to fight you. You cut them down with ease. Marsna lies open before you. Um, we'll set the Christ church ablaze, then return to the ship. We have proven our might. Or we could burn the city and kill anyone who <laughs> No. We'll set the church ablaze. A great roar rips through the sky as the fire consumes the church. Villagers cry out as they watch the conflagration, their faces blank with terror. As you return to the ship, the Franks have regrouped and attack. Whoa! A lot of Franks there. Six Franks. Probably a seventh. Probably a seventh. We should waylay. Until they are near enough. They're coming. Foolish to fight out in the open. We need the full force against these fearsome Franks. Oh, we 
can waylay as well. Spiced mead to you. Your great hunting spare. Again, what? Can waylay two times. Pierce or slash? We can pierce here. We will pierce. Easy has uh, the way to waylay. Ouch. Yeah, we will have to try to kill him quickly. And then the leader, right? Things are not easy here. It's four versus six at the moment. We need to kill them all. That's Vana. Move in with Theodward. Blunt attack the Frankish warrior. Come on, Vana. Cautious move we'll give to him. And then waylay. Uh, we can still attack very well and pierce. Oh yeah. That was good. Should move in here. Cautious move ourselves. And waylay. We should just move. I don't know. Once maybe. And focus. Wait. No, just waylay. Ah, hey, he missed his shot. We were lucky here. They and their weapons. Now you get some damage in. My god. Sometimes. The, these new spares have totally... What is that guy doing? Look at that. What the... What was that? Is he... He must be a ninja. A Frankish ninja is attacking us. Should... I don't know. Attack the leader probably with blunt weapons. Though we are not able to. Here to open up something for Wana. We should attack him. Oh, we should break the shield quickly, yes. That's what we should do. Then we can also attack and slash. With all the power we have, we will slash him to death. What a pierce! Wow! <laughs> Crazy. Crazy, I say. waylay and he can defend we can repair the shield hmm. 
Well, goodbye, Franks. Rodward can break the shield and we should do that. That's just so good. One field and focus. Then attack. And we could slash. More damage. Goodbye, leader. <laughs> I think we're good here. Should get rid of this guy. Oh, cannot, though. Bad luck. Focus and attack him. Whoa! Breaking the shield of what? Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do here. I think we want to move. And blunt this guy. So we're free to move him here. And with Theod Ward here. Can you hit one time, Theod Ward? Rodward. Ah, this guy is now... This guy is wounded, though. Real attack. We don't care. There we go. Alt Gizil. Come on, we can move this way. And attack. Yes. <laughs> it was fleeing and then died down. Hey, a flawless victory against six francs. We got some wine, but they were poor and drunk. Probably not drunk enough. Or it would have been even easier. Completed the grapho of Lagithun. We could return home now. But we can also look at the trader. Jewelry, not so much. Uh, the other stuff. Is there something interesting to buy? There's copper. There's iron. Iron would at least be good to buy here, and we still have a ton of copper at home. Let's just buy that, and we can sell some food too. Confirm that, and so we've got a little bit more room to wriggle and to buy ropes. Ropes would be good. Definitely. Also, spices would be good. Let's maybe buy three of them. I'm not sure. Four. Four spices and... Uh, more iron. And some wine. Probably. Or tools. Tools are at a good price too. Really like the tools, and the rest will go with the wine. Let's confirm. And then 
I can return home. Now that was a successful campaign, if I've ever seen one. Stop the Franks from gaining a hold on Mars now, but you killed more Frisians than Franks to achieve this. When you stare across the sea, you wonder what price are you willing to pay for victory? Any price now. <laughs> Another summer ends. Our heroes have gained experience. Uh, we have battles won. We have got a lot of silver obtained. More population. Everything is looking quite nicely. Thank you. And we're loading. Year 5 in Duvenbur. Should go for more planning. We didn't get the tin. That was a little bit terrible. We can get more warfare here. Let's see if we can upgrade something. Oh yes, we can upgrade the traditions. Or the warfare. We have already upgraded the warfare though. So we'll go traditions. And what new things will we need there? We will need mead. Traditions. We'll need mead. 20 mead. And 150 food and 4 cloth. That shall be doable. And I think we'll just... We'll go for more of that. We can upgrade the warfare as well. Can we upgrade the ship yet? No, because we need... Of course, we need craftsmanship. And craftsmanship needs tin. We didn't find any tin. Then let's go for the warfare. Cost some silver. But warfare is nice now. <laughs> if you've ever seen one, that is crazy good. So, what do we need next for warfare? We need seven tools. And 11 pelts. Okay, and 20 iron. We have that already. Population of 50. And even more silver. 500 silver. <laughs> we could do that if we just had the silver. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's go next. For now, the winter has arrived. The weather on land is mild enough, but the whale road turns into an angry and fickle beast. Gathering allies. Oh my god. Thirwood seeks you out as you're overseeing the slaughter of old cattle. He watches, silent for a long while. You wish to stand against the Franks, he says. Yet you underestimate them. You charge headlong at their spears. Protect your people and your way of life, you will need to be clever. Like your god Loki, not just stubborn, like one of your cattle. Ah, all right. He has proven worthy, so what would you have me do? Request the king, the king! You need allies. No village can stand alone against the Franks. They are united behind a single king, and soon they could be united behind a single god. The boat watches as one of your priests plunges her knife to calf's neck and he winces at the spurt of blood. Sail for Winnie Walderham comes summer. Speak to the High King and tell him of the man Chlodaway, who advises the chieftain of Whitler. The Lord gives you a tight smile. Your actions in Lagithun and Marsna put your name on many lips. No doubt the King will be eager to put a face to the name. And now... The guide. A little girl runs into the hall, screaming and crying. Between shuddering sobs, she tries to speak to you, and you make out that something happened on the beach. 
You run for the shore and there you find sea foam and waves stained dark with blood. Bits of flotsam and wreckage are tossed up on the sand. The iron sea is wind whipped and icy, but you can spot the thrashing of a few bodies just past the sandbar. You're willing to swim out to save them. Yes, we'll do that. You manage to pull several bodies from the wreckage. You take them to your healer who cuts off frozen feet and hands. The survivors give you the tale, the guide of their expedition. A devil with sweet mouth was driven from his home. He's a Frisian who made his living as a sailor and guide for the Frankish monks for many years. The Franks have turned suspicious of anyone with Frisian roots. He set sail for Duenburg to meet with you, but a gale tore apart his crew and ship and crew. Adelwi is among the survivors, and you speak with him. He pledges his sword to yours, honoring the blood debt he incurred, and you rescued him and the others. Oh, nice. So we got one more warrior. And we've got drunken raiders, even. Oh, what, what happens here? You're startled by sudden shouts. Following the sound, you come to the grass knolls where the sheep graze. You spot the source of the racket. A group of young warriors run and stumble towards your flock, driving some of your sheep away. They seem quite drunk. Even a harmless raid needs to be punished. Catch and beat them. Well then, thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. I need to make a short pause because this has been a long episode already. We will kill them all in the next episode. Have a good time. Until then, dear friends and thinkers.